Hey everybody, what's going on? I want to share with you the Giants B12 team that, I've, that I'm running right now. It's 100% success. I feel pretty comfortable saying that. I've run, I've lost count of how many 10 battles in it now, and they have not failed to run. So I feel pretty confident saying that it's 100%. So I want to talk about the team we're running and why we're running it and what plans I have to speed it up a little bit in the future. Because as of right now, it seems to average anywhere from like 235 to around three minutes Sometimes we get kind of a long run and it'll go closer to four, so it can be kind of slow. But early in the game, I've, I've talked about this before, we want to worry about consistency rather than speed early on. We need reliable runs. We don't want to be wasting energy. We need to expand that rune inventory and, and up that quality that we have so that we can work on speeding things up and transitioning to the harder dungeons, right, to, to, to get a, a Dragon B12 team built and to start working our way up Necro as well. So... Uh, we we got it running right now. We're going to go in and, and talk about the team that we're running again and, and what they're bringing. Now, the big key here is fusing Veramos. He is much easier to fuse now than he used to be. If you're going through your Summoner's Way missions, there's going to be one point where it's going to start to let you select fusion food. So just go in and look at what it requires to fuse Veramos and choose them. I think there's a Dark Yeti secret dungeon, so you probably don't have to pick him. I'm pretty sure there is. I'm pretty sure there is. Let's let's verify that real quick. Uh, where is it? It's here. And then we go dark. Yeah, there, there's a Dark Yeti secret dungeon. So you can get him from there. And then the other four, just select from, or, or I'm sorry, the other three, just select from that mission. I think you get to pick three. I'm not entirely sure about that. You might get to pick four. And maybe I picked another champ because I just wanted to use him. Either way, if you, if you prioritize Veramos food, the hard part will be done, right? And, and you'll just have to work, worry about building them and getting them prepared to be used as fusion food. So Veramos is really good. We haven't put any skill ups in him just to kind of make a point. <laughs> He's really good and he doesn't even need to have skill ups. You probably do want to skill him up, but I, I didn't just for the sake of argument here. Here, you're going to get a lot more uh, consistency with his poisons. And then here, you're going to get a cooldown, which is really nice. You're going to get a much better chance to stun and do the things that have that that you need to do with this skill. So skill ups are definitely the way to go. You, you do want to skill him up, but again, I'm just showing you his utility here at base level with no skill ups. So what's he bringing? He's bringing an HP lead, which is really really handy, especially in the earlier game. He's bringing dots on the A1 like we talked about, which is really great for giants. Here he's bringing an AOE stun and turn meter manipulation. They've actually buffed him since I last played. He's even better than he used to be. Uh, so, so you've got some crowd control here, which is great protection in these waves, especially in Giants B12, where the crystals start to get real dangerous. And then his passive is also very important. Basically, every turn he gets, he's going to cleanse one debuff from all allies, as long as it's not an inability debuff. So stuns and freezes and stuff, he's not going to cleanse. But dots, defense downs, attack down, slows, glancing, stuff like that he's going to get rid of bombs even so it, it's a great passive it's it can be a very aggravating passive to deal with in certain pvp situations i know there was a period where he was getting used a lot in rta i don't know if that's still going on but he kind of had a resurgence at one point and was getting used a lot in pvp but anyway this can be really nice to get rid of that defense down that the tower is going to put on you uh, any defense downs you catch in the wave it can be nice to get rid of some of those debuffs He's also going to heal you when he removes debuffs, and he's going to get turn meter for each remaining debuffs, which which helps him cycle turns even faster. So the more turns he gets, the better, okay? Which is why we've got him on Violent. My Veramos right now is on an incredibly suboptimal build. He is very slow. He has pretty low HP. He's decent accuracy. He is not in great shape, though. You can probably build a better Veramos than this, all right? If you can't do Violent, go Swift. Get swift, get his speed up as much as you can, and then you want to get his HP and accuracy up as well because we want him landing dots, we want him landing stuns, all right? We need him doing that. Violent is great because he could turn cycle, he can cleanse more debuffs, he can get back around to that stun quicker in the waves. Violent is, of course, going to be the optimal way to go in most cases, but if you don't have Violent, go swift. As a second set, energy and focus are great options, all right? Speed, HP, HP for the 246. And then in his substats, we're looking for speed, HP, and accuracy again, okay? So those are the stats that we want to shoot up because we don't want him missing those debuffs. Skill him up. As I said, you're going to get a lot more consistency with the stuns and the dots and all of that, but he's performing fine even without it.
Next in line, we've got Bella. Basically, everything I just said about how to build Veramos applies to Bella. Violent, if you've got it. Swift, if you don't. Speed, HP, HP is ideal. I don't have HP, HP, so, he, so Bella got defense. And then you want to shoot that HP, speed, and accuracy up again. Bella is bringing an A1 defense down, which is always lovely. We've got a strip here. So Bella's going to do a pretty good job of keeping that attack buff off the giant, which is going to protect your team a little bit. And then we've got some sustain and turn meter built here. So Bella's another one of those monsters that everything he does is contributing to the, to the team, okay? So basically everything I said about runes for Vermos applies to Bella. Next over here, we've got Melia. If you're using, if you're going through your Summoner's Way missions, it's going to make you fuse Melia at some point. I highly recommend you just let it let it let you do that because Melia is fantastic. We've got uh, turn meter absorption here. We've got an AoE slow here with turn meter manipulation as well. And then a passive where every attack she's dropping poisons. So she's really, really good. Really, really good. You want poisons. They're, they're great. The AoE slow is also, again, very nice. As far as runes go, we've, we've gone violent focus. Kind of the same thing that I've said about Bella and Veramos now. You want speed, HP, and accuracy on this champ. So we went violent to get more turns. If you don't have violent, go swift. Speed, HP, HP, and shoot the speed, HP, and accuracy up. Next in line, we've got Shannon. I'm, I'm, I've been a big fan of Shannon since the beginning. I've, I've got old, old, old videos where I'm singing Shannon's praises. So um, all of that still applies. We've got a glancing on the A1, which is really, really handy. It can, it can come in really handy for that counterattack. And, and the AoE swipe, it just makes it where it's likely that the giant's going glance to hit, glance hit on you and not do that much damage. Here we've got an AoE slow. And we're going to talk about why this is even better if we gear her properly. The AoE slow is pretty handy. And then here we've got attack and defense buffs for three turns. For a two-star champ, it just doesn't get much better than, than the support Shannon brings to a fight. All right, everything Shannon does is meaningful. And if you throw her on dis despair, she can help you with the crowd control and the waves. So sometimes she might double up and land a stun and a slow and just make the waves that much safer for you, okay? And for Shannon, we're going speed HP, HP. I've got an attack rune here because I wanted to finish that, that focus set. I need her to have the accuracy. So she's also not optimal, but they're still performing fine. So there's only, we, we only go up from here, right? <laughs> we, we only go up. But she's getting a little bit of HP in the substats. She's getting some speed. And because we're finishing the focus set, she's getting accuracy. I might have a HP focus rune I could put here now, actually. But we'll worry about that later. But if you can get her on despair, that's going to be great. She's going to help you out a lot more if she's on despair. She can assist Vero with the crowd control and the waves. All right. And then last up, we are still running Lapis. And I've talked about this. It's kind of a strange decision to run Lapis. And it is, it, it is not our final resting place. Lapis is going to get phased out at some point. But she's still part of it because what she's doing is she's helping us clear the waves faster. We don't want to spend a lot of time in the waves, especially the ones with crystals, because those crystals are very dangerous. So if we're if we're spending too much time in there, we're increasing the likelihood that we're going to catch a, a bad hit, a good defense down hit, and then and then another crystal follows up and, and gets somebody out of there. And we don't really want to lose anybody on the way to the giant. Everybody's pretty important to our success. So what she's doing is helping us kill the waves faster so that we're spending less time there kind of mitigating that risk. And then also when we get to the giant, the giant, what what's actually ideal is if she provokes that counterattack and he kills her. <laughs> Cause then the run will be faster because she won't be constantly knocking his turn meter back and those poisons will get a chance to proc. She's also got turn meter knocked back, but it's not as aggressive as Lapis. If Lapis is alive, the giant's probably not going to get a turn. So in a perfect world, she clears the waves for us, gets to the giant, provokes that counterattack, and he kills her. And then we can speed through it a little bit quicker. Again, we're not super concerned with speed, but that is a way that it can go faster if she dies. So uh, she's still wearing the Vamp Revenge set that the game is going to give you for her. I haven't bothered to change it. I've thrown a couple of these on her that I've picked up along the way, but they're not special. So I, I, I just auto-engraved everybody. Nobody's wearing anything really special, all right? So that's the team. That's how they're built. That's why it's working. That's why we've built them that way. That's why they're on the team. That's that's all the breakdown I can give you for the team. 
And then we go back and check on how we're doing over here. Uh, we're fine. Again, I've, I've run this. I've lost count of how many times I've run this at this point, and they've run into no problems. Uh, sometimes Vero goes down at the boss. It's still okay. We're, we're still okay. Um, but again, in a perfect world, what will happen is she'll provoke that counterattack, and he'll kill her. That's, that's best case scenario right there. So this will be one of our faster runs because now we're just going to stack dots up. She's got the glancing up, so we're, we're pretty safe. And those dots, you see, just melt him. So he, probably on his next turn, this will be over. I would, I would imagine on his next turn, this is going to be done. Very close to done, if not done. Yeah, very close. So there you have it. I'm glad we I'm glad we checked in on this because you get to see what a what a what a good run looks like. What was the speed on this one? I feel like that was probably semi fast. Yeah, two forty four, and our best is two thirty five. So that's that's best case scenario. But again, even if she stays alive the whole time, he has a real hard time getting us out of there. He's just not going to get a turn. We're going to have to rely on the damage that we're putting out to kill him. But anyway, that's it. I hope that this helps you. Get something set up because the quicker you can get into B12 and start getting those higher quality runes, the quicker you're going to be able to do other things and start working on speed teams. It's going to be a lot easier to work your way into Dragons B12 and climb up in Necro and, and do some of the other things. So here we have a very safe team. Again, you can probably build a better version of it. If you wanted to prioritize these champs and pull your higher quality runes from elsewhere, uh, I could probably take the violent set she's wearing and Vera would be much better off for it. The game is giving you a lot of stuff now in the early game to make this doable much faster. So if you prioritize these champs, you'll be even better off. But you can see we, we're doing it with some very suboptimal setups here. Very suboptimal, very suboptimal. It has an attack rune slot for uh, running Lapis. You know what I mean? There's a lot of things to fix here, and we will. So maybe in the next week or so, I'll get to work on phasing Lapis out, maybe speeding the run up a little bit, and we'll talk about a way to get a little bit of a faster Giants B12, 100% consistency team. But for now, just run it in the background, do TOA, do Arena, do the other stuff you can do while your multis are running and uh, increase that rune quality in the account. And we'll we'll start to work on some other stuff moving forward. All right, so I hope that this helps you. If you have anything you'd like to add or any questions, drop them below. I'll do my best. I've also got a link to my Discord. We've got a pretty active Summoner's War community in there. If you want to jump in there and ask questions or get involved, we're, we're kind of expanding the guild cluster. I'm, I'm surprised that at uh, the guilds filling up the way that they are. So if you want to check that out, uh, that'll be in the Discord, and that's linked in the description. But that's it. I'm done rambling. I'm getting out of here. I appreciate you guys. Hope you have a good one, and we'll see you tomorrow.